Hey developers, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's figure out how to run Microsoft code over your network. The first thing you'll want to do is download and unpack the code server file. To do that, open a terminal window and issue the command wget https colon slash slash github.com slash cdr slash code dash server slash releases slash download slash 3.4.1 slash code dash server dash 3.4.1 dash linux dash x86 underscore 64 dot tar dot gz. Unpack that file with the command tar xvfz code dash server dash 3.4.1 dash linux dash x86 underscore 64 dot tar dot gz. This will create a new folder named code dash server dash 3.4.1 dash linux dash x86 underscore 64. Change into that new folder with the command cd code dash server dash 3.4.1 dash linux dash x86 underscore 64. Before we start the server, we have to create a config file. To do that, first create a new directory with the command mkdir tilde slash dot config slash code dash server. Now create the config file with the command nano tilde slash dot config slash code dash server slash config dot yaml. In that new file, paste the following bind dash addr colon ip underscore address colon 8080 auth colon password password colon capital password cert colon false where ip address is the ip address of the hosting machine and capital password is a strong unique password save and close the file now we have to start the server to do that change into the bin directory with the command cd tilde slash code dash server dash 3.4.1 dash linux dash x86 underscore 64 slash bin. Now issue the command dot slash code dash server. You should see the address of your server printed out. Point a web browser to the address listed in the command printout. You will be prompted to enter the password you created in the config file. Once you successfully authenticate, you'll be greeted by the MS code application where you can begin working. Of course, you don't want to have to run the code server command every time you need to access the service. For that, we must create a systemd file. To do that, issue the command sudo nano slash lib slash systemd slash system slash code dash server dot service. In that file, place the code shown in the article below. Where password is the same password you created in the config file, user is your Linux username, and IP address is the IP address of the hosting machine. Save and close the file. Reload the systemd daemon with the command sudo systemcontrol daemon dash reload. And now you can start and enable the code server service with the commands sudo systemcontrol start code dash server. sudo systemcontrol enable code dash server. At this point, code server will always be running even if the system reboots. <laughs> If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.